Hi, this is A Minute of Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week I want to talk about the importance of app landing pages. Okay, so this week I want to talk about landing pages for your apps. Now, a landing page, for those of you who don't know, is like it's just a, a like a web page. Uh, like it could be a website, or it could just be like a single page uh, on the web someplace, which kind of links to your app in whatever app store it's in. So, let's say you have a, a an Android and an iPhone app, and you you would have like a single page uh, for that. Let me show, actually let me show you just to, to give you an idea. Here's here's one we have for EarSpy. Here's our EarSpy landing page. Now. Uh, we, we link to it on the Overpass website, you know, obviously, and uh, but uh, we also have the earspyapp.com landing page. So if you look, if you go there, you can see it's kind of a nice looking uh, theme that I think we just got from Theme Forest and just sort of spent a couple days customizing it. And it's it's nicer than the uh, Google Play page or the iTunes page because we can provide you know more than just screenshots and a short little video. We can do. Uh, we can include all kinds of information and it's not against the rules to uh, include f some reviews and uh, and features and all that kind of stuff. But the, the big thing uh, is that we have a link to the Android store, uh, the iPhone store, or sorry, the iTunes uh, and the Amazon store and then any other stores that we add in the future. It, we're not including like the smaller ones. So, so that's an idea. That's an example of a landing page. Now, the reason I'm talking about it this week is this is one of the big topics among app developers. Like I used to listen to a lot of podcasts. I still do. A lot of the app podcasts are out there are really, really good and it's good to learn things. But uh, you know, one of the big conversation topics is does your app need a landing page, right? And it's like, it's kind of like if you didn't know anything, like you know, if you were giving somebody advice and they they asked you if, if they should have a landing page, you say, yeah, sure, why not? It, you know, it's another line in the water, right? But uh, you know, I just want to show you the kind of success we've had with this. So, so this is, you know, we've got the EarSpy landing page here. We've also done one, you know, all the ones on the Overpass site. So on the Overpass site, we have all the app pay, all the apps have their own page here. So you could go through and see, you know, if there's a video, we show the video uh, and all that kind of stuff. But we also have uh, like for quite a lot of them, we've created like a custom landing page as well. So we we actually like for some of our apps, we have three landing pages. So here's one for Chinese Mandarin Alpha Team, right? So we've got you know, it's a, and it's a it's a bit more salesy. It's a bit more SEO type of thing. We're trying to to uh, get the right keywords. You know, the 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 goal here is that if somebody's uh, googling, I want to learn Chinese with a game, then you know, hopefully our web page would come up and if even if they don't find it through the app store they'll find the web page and then this web page will have links to say the app store and google play and then the videos and any reviews that we have and the key features and all that kind of stuff so well how well does that work that strategy that's a strategy right that's uh, a lot of app developers do that so i just want to give you like a, some insight into how that works uh for for us uh so let me show you the uh google play page here for um earspy and you go here to the user acquisition section and you can see uh, here's uh, a week from a few weeks ago which is a uh, uh, see during this week we had 84,885 views uh, of the App Store uh, uh, at the Google Play page and here you can see that it's actually you know 81,967 of those came from within the Play Store so it's either been a recommended title or they found it through searching and all that kind of stuff so you know through Google search only 1,100 found it and through um, third-party refers which would be like my landing pages it's only 1,803 so it you know when we talk about the you know how well landing pages actually work that's actually a very small number I mean it's, it's almost like it wasn't worth doing right if I show you uh, conversely if I show you the uh, ear spy page uh, and App Analytics uh, under sorry iTunes. You can see here um, during this time period. I think this might be all times actually. Uh, it's been viewed 299,694 times in the uh, in the App Store. But if I go to sources here, you can see that um, if I go to top websites, it's only been found through Google 570 times. And if I scroll all the way down here to the bottom, you can see there's the Overpass website. Only 25 people actually came to the uh, play to the um, App Store page from the Overpass site. So it's you know not very many. Uh, and if I go way down here, you can see here's earspyapp.com. Only 17. So you know 
that setting up that website now for us it's not a big deal because we have all the skills like I said it was a couple days work uh, yeah, we have a web server all that kind of stuff so we, so we put it up there and it's you know it's another line in the water it's like if you're fishing and you have an extra fishing rod you might as well throw it into the water because people you know you might catch another fish right even even how unlikely it might be so so you know my advice in doing a landing page is don't keep don't use that as your core strategy right it doesn't work that well right it's good to have you know what really is good having a landing page for is like if you for outbound social media so like if somebody tweets they say i want to learn swahili or something like that then i could send them the landing page for uh swahili bubble bath or uh you know or um, you know, whatever so I don't so I don't have to say oh are they on iPhone are they on Android which link should I send them I'll just send them one page so that's one link basically I take you know two or three links and you know put it on one page and then they could see a bit more information about it and download it. and actually you know yeah it, it works really well there so for an outbound type of thing it, it really works so so that's it for this week. Uh, now, if you want, if, if you have success or failures with landing pages, please leave a comment below and, and include a link to the landing page too, because that would be good for us to see, you know, how things are working. You say, hey, this worked really well for me, or hey, this is what I did, and you know, I got like, you know, ten downloads or whatever. So, uh, you know, that would be really interesting to see. So, uh, uh, and uh, so anyway, that's what I want to talk about this week is landing pages. You know, the experts, the app experts, will tell you that they're super important. But in my experience, they're not really that important at all. So, so that's it for this week. I'll talk to you next week. Goodbye. Hey, I really hope you liked that video. Uh, now, I do these once a week. So if, if you, if you want to hear more or you want to you know, hear more about uh, our experiences with the App Store, either Google Play or iTunes, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And please like this video and, and leave a comment. I love reading the comments. I love hearing what you have to say, even if it's just hello or, or, or whatever. And, and like I say before, um, if you if you're not sure what to, to say in a comment like I never know what to say in a comment I'll make it easier for you like if, if you liked it just go ahead and say gnarly uh, which is an 80s term or uh, if you didn't like it just say bogus and and if you didn't think any of it just say eh right so and so that that would be a big 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 help and and another thing you could do uh, which I'd really appreciate it if you're on the app store and you want to try one of our apps look up some of the overpass apps uh, applications either on iTunes or Google Play and and leave a review and, and let us know what you think about it either good or bad but uh, you know it, it's uh, we're all trying to you know build up in the market so uh, so that would be a big help so so that's it I'll talk to you next week